Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here, and we're looking at the 29th out of the Testament of Solomon. This one deals with uterine mania and pains in the bladder. It gives us a solution here, and in this video, I asked artificial intelligence to help me to get an understanding of what's going on here. So check out this interaction to see how we came up with a solution and what this really all means. We're going to call this one Casting Out Spirits 129. Make sure you subscribe for the videos that come out on the rest of these elements. Hit the like button and be prepared to leave a comment along the way. Transliterate this to Hebrew Lanosta, then give a breakdown of each letter with their meanings and symbol. Chat GPT. Here's a breakdown of each Hebrew letter, its meaning, and its symbol. 1. Meaning, Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It is a silent letter but often indicates the presence of a vowel. Symbol represents the ox or bull in ancient Semitic pictograms, symbolizing strength and leadership. 2. None. Meaning, none represents a fish in ancient Semitic pictograms. It can symbolize life, fertility, and continuity. Symbol, the fish, which represents life and activity. 3. Vorv. Meaning, vorv is used as a consonant V, and can also serve as a connector or and in Hebrew. It is associated with a hook or peg. Samak. Symbol, the hook or nail, symbolizing connection and support. 4. Meaning, Samak represents a support or a prop in ancient Semitic pictograms. It can symbolize protection or sustaining. Tav. Symbol, the support or prop, symbolizing endurance and protection. 5. Meaning, Tav is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet and represents a mark or sign. It is often associated with truth and completeness. Symbol the mark or cross, symbolizing a sign or seal. So, anostath transliterated into Hebrew is and each letter has its symbolic meaning and representation as detailed above. Based on the meanings of the letters in series how would it be related to a bladder infection? Chat GPT Interpreting the name Anosta, based on the meanings of its individual Letters and relating it to a bladder infection involves a bit of creative thinking, as Hebrew letters have symbolic meanings that are more abstract and general. Here's a way to conceptualize this. 1. Aleph, strength and leadership, in the context of a bladder infection, Aleph could symbolize the body's initial strength or the disruption of that strength. The infection challenges the body's ability to maintain control and health. 2. None, life and continuity, none represents life and continuity, which could relate to how an infection affects the ongoing health and vitality of the bladder and urinary system. It disrupts the normal function and continuity of the body systems. 3. Vorv, connection and support, Vorv signifies connection, which could be linked to how an infection disrupts the connections and normal functioning between various parts of the urinary system. It may also represent the connection between symptoms and overall health. 4. Samak, support and protection. Samak stands for support and protection, which could be relevant to how the infection undermines the protective mechanisms of the bladder and how treatment aims to restore that protection and support. Tav is sign and completeness. Tav can symbolize a mark or a sign, representing the symptoms and the infection itself as a sign of an issue. It also suggests the goal of achieving completeness or healing, aiming to resolve the infection and restore normal function. When put together, Aleph indicates a challenge to the body's strength. None signifies a disruption in vitality and ongoing health. Vov suggests a breakdown in the connections and support systems. Samak points to the need for restoration and protection. Tav signifies the need for resolution and healing. Thus, the name Anostaf could be metaphorically related to a bladder infection as it encapsulates the disruption of normal function, Aleph and Nun, the breakdown in support and connections, Vorv and Samak, and the ultimate goal of resolution and healing, Tav. 
Next this question was posed, okay if that be the case this how is this the cure marmorower dot. Chat GPT. To analyze how the name Marmara might relate to the cure for a bladder infection using the symbolic meanings of Hebrew letters, we first need to transliterate it into Hebrew. Here's a breakdown of each Hebrew letter in this transliteration, along with their symbolic meanings. 1. Mem. Meaning, Mem represents water in ancient Semitic pictograms. It symbolizes fluidity, purification, and healing. Symbol the water, which is crucial for hydration and the body's cleansing processes. 2. Resh Meaning, Resh represents the head or beginning. It symbolizes leadership, renewal, and initiation. Mem, the gen. Symbol, the head, indicating a starting point or the importance of something new. 3. Meaning, same as above, it represents water and emphasizes purification and fluidity. For Resh, again. Meaning, same as above, symbolizing leadership and renewal. 5. Ayin. Meaning, Ayin represents the eye or insight. It signifies perception, understanding, and observation. Symbol, the eye, indicating the ability to see and understand possibly pointing to recognizing symptoms and effective treatment. So, if the marmorau is conceptualized as a cure for a bladder infection, here's how the symbolic meanings could relate. Mem, water the repetition of mem emphasizes the importance of water in treating a bladder infection. Hydration is crucial for flushing out bacteria and aiding in recovery. Resh leadership and renewal the presence of Resh suggests a new approach or a significant step in treatment. It symbolizes the initiation of effective treatment strategies. Ayin, insight and understanding Ayin indicates the importance of understanding the infection and recognizing the appropriate remedies or interventions. In summary, Marmorau, as a cure could symbolically relate to 1. Hydration, the symbolic presence of water, mem, suggests that drinking fluids is essential for flushing out the infection. 2. Effective treatment, the leadership and renewal aspects, resh, heat imply adopting a new or effective treatment plan. 3. Insight, understanding the condition, ayin, helps in applying the right cure or remedy. Thus, the name Marmarao metaphorically encapsulates the key elements of treating a bladder infection, maintaining hydration, initiating effective treatment, and understanding the condition. What effect will this have on the infection powder into pure oil three seeds of laurel and smear it on? ChatGPT The instruction to powder into pure oil three seeds of laurel and smear it on suggests a traditional or herbal remedy approach. Here's a breakdown of how each component might affect a bladder infection. 1. Powder into pure oil purpose. Combining powdered herbs with oil is a common practice in herbal medicine. The oil serves as a carrier for the active compounds in the herb, facilitating their application and absorption. Effect. This method allows the active ingredients of the laurel seeds to be delivered more effectively to the affected area when applied topically. 2. Three seeds of laurel. Laurel seeds, laurel, laurus nobilis, has been used in traditional medicine for various purposes. While the leaves are more commonly used, the seeds may contain essential oils and compounds with anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, or antiseptic properties. Effect, laurel seeds are thought to have potential medicinal properties that could help reduce inflammation and provide some antimicrobial effects. However, the specific effectiveness of laurel seeds for bladder infections is less well documented compared to other treatments. 3. Smear it on. Application, smearing the oil infused with laurel seeds onto the body might be intended to soothe or treat localized issues. Based on all here write a detailed report explaining what this is saying the 29th said, I am called an oster. I engender uterine mania and pains in the bladder. If one powder into pure oil three seeds of laurel and smear it on, saying, I exorcise thee, Anosta. Stop by Marmorau, at once I retreat. Certainly. Here's a detailed report explaining the statement. Detailed report on the statement.
statement, the 29th said, I am called an oster. I engender uterine mania and pains in the bladder. If one powder into pure oil three seeds of laurel and smear it on, saying, I exorcise thee, an oster. Stop by Marmarao, at once I retreat. 1. Identification of an oster. The 29th said, this implies that the name or entity being described is part of a sequence or list, potentially indicating its position in a series of such entities or forces. I am called an oster, an oster appears to be a name given to a specific entity or force. 2. Nature and effect of an oster. I engender uterine mania and pains in the bladder, an oster is described as causing specific medical conditions. Uterine mania. This could refer to severe or disruptive symptoms affecting the uterus, possibly including emotional or psychological disturbances. Pains in the bladder, an oster is also associated with causing bladder pain or discomfort, similar to a bladder infection or other urinary issues. 3. Remedial action. If one powder into pure oil three seeds of laurel and smear it on, powder into pure oil. This involves creating a medicinal oil by grinding laurel seeds and mixing them with pure oil. The oil acts as a carrier for the medicinal properties of the seeds. Three seeds of laurel. Laurel seeds are used for their potential medicinal benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Smear it on. The prepared oil is to be applied to the skin, potentially targeting areas affected by the symptoms. For invocation and exorcism saying, I exorcise thee. Exorcising an oster, the phrase implies that the application of the oil should be accompanied by a verbal or spiritual declaration aimed at expelling an oster from the afflicted area. 5. Command to retreat, stop by Marmarao. Marmarao, this is another name or entity mentioned as part of the remedy or protective measure. It seems to function as a counteracting force or a protective command. At once I retreat, the instruction suggests that the combined action of applying the laurel seed oil and uttering the exorcism command will cause an oster to retreat or cease its effects. Summary of the report The statement describes a ritual or traditional remedy for addressing specific symptoms attributed to an entity named an oster. An oster is identified as causing uterine mania and bladder pains. The proposed remedy involves preparing a medicinal oil by powdering three laurel seeds and mixing them with pure oil. This oil is then applied topically to the affected areas. The process is accompanied by a verbal exorcism command, using the Hebrew term, gaash, to expel an oster. The phrase, stop by marmarao, seems to function as a protective or counteracting measure to reinforce the expulsion of an oster. Implications the remedy combines herbal medicine with a spiritual or ritualistic component. It suggests a belief in the power of both physical treatments, laurel seed oil, and spiritual or verbal commands to address and alleviate symptoms. Note, while the remedy described may have traditional or symbolic significance, its practical effectiveness should be considered alongside conventional medical treatments. For uterine mania or bladder pain, professional medical evaluation and treatment are recommended. This report integrates the symbolic meanings of the names and the traditional practice described to provide a comprehensive understanding of the remedy and its context. Add more details about the meaning of the letters of each of those names and how they're related to the issue. ChatGPT Certainly. Let's delve into the symbolic meanings of the Hebrew letters in the names Thanoster and Marmarao and how they relate to the issues described, uterine mania and bladder pains. 1. Analysis of the Nostra Hebrew Letters Aleph represents strength, leadership, and the beginning. Symbolically, Aleph could suggest that a Nostra is a potent or significant force causing the issues. It denotes the starting point or origin of the disturbances. Nun symbolizes life, continuity, and activity. Nun might indicate that a Nostra affects the ongoing health and vitality of the body impacting functions related to the uterus and bladder. Vorv represents connection and support. In the context of an oster, Vorv might symbolize how the entity disrupts the connections within the body, such as the functioning of the reproductive or urinary systems. 
Samak stands for support and protection. Samak might imply that anosta undermines the body's natural support mechanisms, contributing to the pain and discomfort experienced. Tav symbolizes a mark, sign, or completeness. Tav suggests that anosta is a significant factor or a mark of the conditions affecting the body. It may also indicate the need for a comprehensive remedy to address these symptoms. Relating to the issue, uterine mania, aleph, strength, and none, continuity, might symbolize the disruptive force of anosta on the reproductive system, while vorv, connection, and samak, support, highlight the breakdown of normal functioning and protective mechanisms. Bladder pains, the same letters emphasize the interference with the bladder's vitality and connection to overall health. 2. Analysis of Marmarao Hebrew letters Mem represents water, fluidity, and purification. Mem suggests that Marmarao is associated with cleansing and restorative properties. This might relate to the purification and healing needed for the conditions caused by an oster. Resh stands for the head or beginning, and symbolizes leadership and renewal. Resh in Marmara might signify a new or leading approach to counteract the effects of an oster. It could also imply initiating a process of healing or protection. Mem it again repetition of Mem reinforces the importance of purification and fluidity in the remedy. Resh again the repetition of Resh emphasizes the need for a significant intervention to address the problem. Ayan represents the eye, perception, and insight. Ayan suggests that Marmarao involves recognizing or understanding the problem effectively and taking action to resolve it. Relating to the issue, counteracting anosta, mem, purification, and resh, renewal, imply that Marmarao provides a cleansing and restorative effect against the disturbances caused by anosta. Ayan, insight, underscores the need for understanding and addressing the root of the problem. Overall relationship and remedy. Anosta. This name indicates an entity that disrupts normal bodily functions related to the uterus and bladder. The symbolic meanings of the letters suggest that anosta represents a potent force causing significant health issues, affecting strength, continuity, connections, and protection. Marmarao. This name, by contrast, symbolizes purification, renewal, and insight. The remedy involves using laurel seeds in oil, which aligns with the symbolic meanings of mem, purification, and resh, renewal. The application of this oil and the command to exorcise an oster reflect the need to restore balance and counteract the disruptive effects. Conclusion, the detailed meanings of the Hebrew letters in Anosta and Marmarao provide a rich symbolic framework for understanding the issues and remedies described. Anosta represents a force causing significant disturbances in bodily functions, while Marmarao symbolizes a comprehensive approach to cleansing and healing, aimed at expelling Anosta and restoring health. ChatGPT can make mistakes. Check important info. So there you have it guys, the 29th out of the 36 elements. I think he basically summed it up pretty well there. The only thing I would add though is that that word Anastaro, however it's pronounced, has the Tav in there that would indicate something to do with the covenant and the cause of that problem. But other than that, I think he was as close as we could have got, giving all praise and honor to our Father in Heaven, hallowed be his name.